All right, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to another anime vlog style video, whatever you want to call them. In this video today, I'm going to be going back into the anime room, and it is a mess in there, I can tell you. It's probably been a long time since you guys have seen it. For any OG subscribers, you're probably missing out on um, me going into the anime room, but right now it is very, very crowded in there. I have a few goals I want to do today. Um, the first one would be stuff has actually overflowed out of the anime room in front of this shelf and for many reasons I don't want that to happen um, so as much as I can I want to put this stuff back into the room in there uh, so I basically want to restack things and reorganize things to make a little bit more room if I can one of the big um, things I'm gonna do to make that happen is put all of my anime figures back into their boxes after giving them a good dust which is long overdue, I can assure you. Um, but yes, all of my anime figures are going to go back into their boxes today. I did that a little while ago to make more room, but now it's very essential um, that I don't have any on display, which is a little bit um, disheartening, but I'd rather the collection be in together. And it is a very temporary thing. Um, I think I've mentioned this on the channel before, but Nicole and I are thinking about moving into a bigger place, and I think that has to happen eventually. Um, and I just kind of had everything unorganized and thrown in there until then, but I thought, what's the point in that? In case we are here for a longer period of time, it's better to have everything more organized, keep as much of it in the um, collection room, whatever you want to call it, because more than anime is going to go in there today. Um, and yeah, uh, my other goal was to, um, with the last few pickups of figures, more specifically pop vinyl figures. Um, I've had a bit of trouble uh, remembering what I have in the collection already because it's not like I go through my like 200 odd pops every day. Um, so I've been lazy and I haven't been putting them as I buy them into my collection um, database. And so when I go through my list on Pop Price Guide, a few of them that I bought are missing. And the great thing is I haven't doubled up to my knowledge yet. Um, however, it's inevitably going to happen and I have done that with DVDs. So the other goal for today, if I can get to it, is to put all of my figures into their respective databases or collection tracking apps online or, you know, however I do it. So that includes pop vinyls and anime figures. And if I get time, which I highly doubt it, um, do so with my DVDs and Blu-rays because they have never all been in the collection app. Um, because I own, at this stage, probably over a thousand DVDs and Blu-rays. So that's kind of crazy. Um, and it's a very time-consuming process, especially when the database I use does not include Australian releases, so I have to do it manually. But those are my goals for today and possibly the entire weekend. Um, so I've got, a little, I've, I've got a little bit of time to do this. I've got a few days. So I'm thinking there's probably going to be a few videos on doing this task. Um, so hopefully you guys can stick around and help me through this because I've let it get to the point where it's a very overwhelming process. Uh, but I do want to fix things up um, for my own benefit and make it seem, you know, any collection doesn't look good if it's not organized neatly. So I'm going to be fully transparent today and show you guys what a mess I have made and I have um, collected too much for my own good, probably. No, I don't want to say that. Um, it's more so that I, I'm sure a lot of you, if you're collectors, have experienced this. Um, I never really take into account space until it gets to the point where I have no space. So I think, you know, buying the bean bags, I didn't think where they were going to go. They're massive. Um, bean bags and they have to be kept somewhere and being in a little house you have limited space and literally this small room behind me is the only room where I have to keep my collection and I have outgrown it there's no way around it um, but I'm going to do the best I can to do some damage control and get everything back to as organized as I can so I've got you guys on the bed right now. It's a bit of an unsteady surface, so hopefully you don't topple completely ass overhead. But I think the first step would be to get all of these pops from my last couple of pickups 
Um, I'll probably sort, just put them all on the bed for now. Any that aren't in my collection database, I'm going to put them into my database. And then after that, I'm going to get to the figures behind on the shelf here, dust them and we'll go from there. <laughs> I think the next step after that, I'm going to have to go into the anime room and tackle that. So um, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. I need to kind of um, pace myself in this process. Uh, but yeah, let's do that first. So that is all of the pops from the last garage sale um, and there is more than I thought there was there. Now the last two pickups I've done of pop vinyls um, from EB Games and Zing I haven't done an unboxing on the channel. So I have three um, EB Games boxes filled with pop vinyls that I haven't shown you guys and I don't think I'm going to show you them in this video. That might have to wait for another time but I think I'm still going to unbox them, put them all together and put them uh, in the anime room today. So again, these boxes have just been sitting out. <laughs> I'm fucking clumsy Joe today. So as you can see, there are a few in here. I did do a pretty reasonably sized pickup um, at the time, but all of these aren't in my collection tracker. So I'm going to put them in and then probably take them out of the boxes and put them in as best as I can. So for any of you guys who follow my channel for Pop um, Funko Pop unboxings, I do apologize that I haven't shown you these yet. I will get around to showing you them maybe in an overall collection video or something like that, but that's not going to happen right now. But I can give you a little sneak peek of what they look like. I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Ah, uh, no, it isn't. I have this big bag full of them too. So yeah, one day I'll get around to showing you guys them. God, can I even get myself on camera? One day I'll show you guys these very soon, but not today. I have more important priorities pressing on me right now. Here's something I got recently from America, which is kind of cool. Inside here is a ceramic mug that I bought from Zazzle. Um, Barker BT is an anime, it's a closed group anime community that releases really hard to find um, MKV files of like old anime, really like rare anime, stuff that is often unseated and stuff that is often not sought after by a lot of people. And I've been using them for quite a few years to download anime that I can't buy in my country or I cannot find anywhere on the internet, even like on YouTube or streaming services. And so I found that they had some merch um, through Zazzle and to give back to the website and the creators, I thought I would go ahead and buy a mug um, Which is I guess it's official like it's nothing crazy, but I do have quite a No, I wouldn't say extensive but a small collection of like anime mugs and I decided to buy this one um, supporting the Barker BT anime community um, Because they have brought a lot of value to me and I decided to give back. It was kind of a 50-50 toss whether this was going to arrive cracked and broken because it was coming overseas from America. Um, but I am pleasantly surprised that it is in one piece and it looks really, really nice. So yeah, there's my Barker BT Anime Community mug that I bought. Cool. Oh my god! So I completely freaking forgot I bought these. There's a bunch of boxes I keep under the table um, just to kind of keep them out of the way and this is an order that I bought from J toys, which is um, An Australian distributor of like Japanese figures, but of it also like Weird novelty items and kind of all sorts of anime merchandise and stuff like that and This Tomy box here is filled with an order that I picked up in the city of like a lot of little stuff I know there's like cat hair on here it's even a pop vinyl in here. Um, yeah, like little Pokemon stuff, a Dragon Ball figure, some 
um, Pokemon video games, even this cute little Christmas set for a Nendoroid um, with a little Santa uniform. So I'll have to get this completely unboxed and show it off to you guys on the channel because I completely forgot I had this stuff. The other thing is here in this big box, I have all of the other pop vinyls I've picked up. And I mean, this box is massive. I have all of the pop vinyls I picked up and I don't believe I've shown you guys these either. Um, these are from the last two, one or two pickups I've picked up from EB Games. So yeah, I'll have to get them out, put them with the others and um, eventually show them to you guys. Like there was obviously a lack of unboxings because there's even like quite a few anime figures and stuff that I have in the anime room that I haven't shown you guys yet. So. Hopefully, I'll kind of get around to doing all of this stuff eventually. <laughs> Alrighty. So, that is all of the pops that were sitting outside of the anime room there. Um, yeah, as I said, I haven't shown um, any of these off to you guys on the channel. But I think I'm pretty much done for this video at the very least. I think what I'm going to do now is go through and put all of these into the collection app that I didn't have in there and I'll finish off by doing some dusting in the shelf with the anime figures and then next time I think I'm going to start putting the anime figures back into their boxes, get into the anime room and go from there. So stay tuned for part two guys, it's probably going to go on for a while um, and I'll see you again then. So let's finish her off. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to dust some of the figures now. I think I'll start with the top middle shelf with the Sailor Moon figures and behind them. Then I'll probably move on to the Nendoroids and finally on to the bigger figures down the bottom there. So I think the first and most important thing to note when dusting figures, um, do not use something that has harsh material. Uh, because it probably will scratch your figures and permanently damage them. So make sure to get a... So make sure to get a microfiber cloth or something that is very soft um, that will not scratch them and take off any detail. With a lot of figures, especially smaller figures, they have fine detail, so it's common sense. Just make sure you don't snap anything off. Be gentle with them and the other thing is I don't advise using water um, you should be able to just get most of the dust off with the cloth and then maybe go and wash and dry the cloth if you want to um, but yeah don't go putting like a lot of water or like spray and wipe onto your figures that's just kind of stupid <laughs> but um, yeah just give her a light going over with the microfiber cloth here and like I haven't dusted these for probably at least two months which is too long to let them sit there but as you can see like all of the dust is coming off pretty much straight away so the biggest reason you have to dust is um dust is essentially like dirt and can become food for like mold or other gross things kind of growing and damaging your figures so over the long term, dust can, even though it seems harmless, it can eventually build up and cake into a, a, like a surface and damage it, you know. Um, the other thing is dust will hold like moisture after a while, so if there's humidity in the air, it can sit on the dust and the grime if it gets like too thick. And that's obviously not good because if there's any like cardboard boxes or anything that can damage them or grow mold. Um, but yeah, make sure you dust your figures. So there, now Sailor Venus is ready to go back into her box, which makes me sad. Don't her fucking legs come off. <laughs> I can't remember how I put these things together. I think her legs come out. Anyway, I'll deal with her later. So yeah, I'm going to get a little Nendoroid Petite here in the form of Hatsune Miku just to show you like these little ones can be quite delicate, so to avoid snapping her hair or parts of her, just like do it very lightly. It's common sense, I really shouldn't have to say this and probably none of you care for me to say this, but um, yeah, it is important to dust your figures. I, I know I'm sitting here saying that like 
total hypocrite because I haven't done it for bloody months and I should really do it at least once a month and probably more like twice a month. But um, as you can see with my pop vinyl collection, that's a smaller part of my collection. Um, I have 200 at least anime figures now. So yeah, I think putting them back in their box just temporarily is going to alleviate the problem of me getting around to cleaning them all and um, free up more space. So I would love to be able to, to display them, but like I said, it is a temporary thing. And um, eventually I plan to set the whole thing out and I'm sure like you guys and myself, I'll be very excited for the day when I can have everything displayed. Um, but I don't want to have to stop collecting. Uh, obviously I'm going to slow down, but um, yeah, I don't want to get it to the point where I literally have no room to bring anything else into my collection, which is pretty much now, but we're in a pretty small place here. So I'm sure that'll be solved in the future. So you can see how bloody dusty this guy is. Look at his base. That's the biggest thing, but it comes off pretty easily. You know, and the other thing is I have these open on a shelf. Um, if you had them in a glass display cabinet, that would keep like 90% of the dust out. And you probably would rarely, if ever, actually have to dust them. So as I've said in the past, that's definitely something I'll be looking at investing into, but yeah, it, after a while, I really wish you could get them like customizable. Like you, my shelves, you can put them within like a centimeter or two and customize it how big or little you want it, um, according to how big your figures are or whatever you're storing. So I really wish glass display cabinets had that um, option to them, but to my, like I've never seen one that um, you can customize the shelves. So I'm sure one day in the future someone will make something like that because the figures come in all shapes and sizes, um, which I know more than anyone. And yeah, see, even that, like 15, 20 seconds, 90% of the dust has come off him. So don't be too hard on yourselves, guys. Don't beat me up. I don't want to hear in the comments section, oh, you're mistreating your figures. No. Like, I love my figures, I've just been um, neglecting them a bit, but nothing, there's no dust or damage that can't be reversed. A little bit of dust adds character. Um, the other thing is, sometimes there's really tight nook and crannies with your figures that you might not be able to get in with the cloth and just your finger. So if that is the case and there's like a lot of dust built up in it, um, for example, my Hulk bobblehead, his hair is like really detailed and it's really hard to get all the dust out with just a cloth. And so what I'll quite often do with him, um, very lightly because I don't want to leave any scratches or damage on him. And again, very rarely, only if you have to grab like a Q-tip or something like that and see in his hair, I can't really get a lot of the dust out. Um, also because he's been sitting in dust for like a long time. I've had this guy since I was like 10 years old. But yeah, just lightly kind of get in there with the Q-tip. And you'll often find you can bring a lot of the dust out. And after you kind of give him a good going over, you can see the area I've done. Um, he'll come up a lot better. So yes, I will get to doing the rest of my figures now, guys, and I'll see you in part two, so stay tuned for that. Bye for now. Are we still working now? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes is the answer to all of the questions. Maybe not anymore!